this is the transformation grammar that we would be uh, learning about but before that let us look at some famous lines that we have heard from people which have been reported and time and again and these lines have caused wonders in the world so by martin luther junior king junior uh, right is the language of the unheard bob marley the famous these people have been speaking about the rights rights of human beings and how we need to fight for getting our rights so get up stand up stand up for your rights don't give up the fight and then the name of the person we see then a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new albert einstein and this is what he had said and these are the famous quotes that we generally find to read in various books so we are talking about the reported speech which is also called as direct and indirect speech now let us look at some um, examples okay english has two ways of narration so direct speech and indirect speech are a part of narrative english where you can narrate the spoken words of a person like over here miss kavita said i want to meet your parents please note how the statement is written he said i am going to school okay. ravi said i bought a book for you this would be called as a direct speech all these three statements and what it is if you see the actual words of the speaker is quoted there is no um, uh, words involved with somebody else is saying except for the speaker and the exact words are put in inverted commas or quotation marks and always we find that there is either a comma or we can say a colon that can be put after said that is introduced in the spoken words so this is the direct speech then same statement written in a different form miss kavita said that she wanted to meet my parents ravi said that he bought a book for me he said that he was going to school now this would be you guessed right indirect speech so the actual words of the speakers are changed that means the intention is conveyed but the words are not the same as it was said by the speaker and it has been changed to the reported speech the words spoken by the speaker is in the narration now and therefore you will find that the tense is changed the pronouns of the sentences are changed for example miss kavita said in the earlier one we saw it was i want to meet your parents but now when it is reported it is said she wanted to meet my parents and these are the indirect speech where we see that in indirect speech the commas inverted commas are removed and there is an uh, addition of a word that also the colon or the uh, comma or the inverted commas are removed and the pronouns are changed with that okay so let us look at some basic rules for the direct speech over here uh, note the highlighted word she said i am listening to music he says you are an intelligent student you will say i need your help the reporting verb that is the verb that is used in the statement the verb of the first statement she said he said etc are used before the actual words of the speaker and that is in a uh, present tense past tense or future tense okay and the second one the second sentence where the actual word is spoken it is enclosed in inverted commas now look at it again she said i am listening to music 
he says you are an intelligent student it is in present form the reported uh, the the speech that is reported in direct form is in also in present form you will say i need your help now when we are using indirect speech then how the change will take place she said i am listening to music she said that she was listening to music over here we see that the reported speech was in present tense in the direct speech but when it is changed to indirect speech it changes into past tense because it becomes she was and the pronoun of i changes to the pronoun of uh, the person who is saying the statement he said i write a letter he said that he wrote a letter uh, over here also we will see that the present changes to the past tense now what is the reason first words of the speaker is not enclosed in inverted commas in the uh, in the indirect speech so that is very important when we are changing from direct to indirect we do not use the inverted commas then use of the word that the conjunction that is always used before between the reporting verb and the reported speech in indirect speech so she said she said that this is the uh, verb that is coming before the change of the sentence takes place into indirect and then she was uh, i write this is in the reported speech and between the two we have this word that then basic rules for the indirect speech she said i am playing cricket she said that she was playing cricket okay he says i am watching a movie he says that he is watching a movie note the change of or no change of verb or tense in both the statement the first one is in past tense and there is a change of verb in past tense in the indirect speech second one is a present tense and we find that there is a change in the uh, uh, verb but it is still in present tense so first one the tense would change whereas in uh, when the next one we are seeing uh, the present tense there is no change in the tense okay so change in the tense in the reported speech if the reporting speech is either present tense or future tense then there will not be any change in the indirect speech whereas if the uh, reporting uh, verb belong to the past tense changes can be made in the tense of the reported speech so when it is present and future there is no change in the tense of the verb that we are using in the statement uh, and when there is a past tense used in the indirect speech then uh, the reporting verb is if, if it is in the past tense then the reporting speech will also be changing there are some more important rules that we need to understand uh, of this indirect speech so in the direct speech it is he said i eat two apples indirect would be he said that he ate two apples she said to me i like your book she said to me that she liked my book there is a change in pronoun we already saw so according to the pronoun or the subject the object of the reported verb changes he said i eat he said that he ate she said to me i like your book she said to me that she liked my book the use of possessive pronouns we see over here his her my their your etc may also change according to the subject or the object of the first sentence okay next one 
Look at this. I am buying a laptop today. Now today is highlighted which is denoting the time. Okay. In direct speech, she said that she was buying a laptop that day. Now in the reporting, uh, reported verb, you see it is said. So it is in the past tense. Okay. He said, I need your help now. See the change? He said that he needed my help then. So because it is in past tense, the tense is changing. The day, the time, that also changes. And the words used are changed over there. So the change in time, certain rules for changing the time is that now is changing into then. Tomorrow changes to the next day. Today will change into that day and yesterday will be changing into previous day. Now this is a fixed rule. In the direct and indirect sentences, when we change from direct statement to indirect statement, then we have to make note of these uh, time that are mentioned. If there is a mention of time that is now or tomorrow or today or yesterday, then we have to convert it into a uh, different word and that is what the list over here is given. So change in tense. How the change in tense happens? If the, di if the direct speech is in simple present, then the reported speech will become simple past. I want to go home. She said she wanted to go home. So want changes to wanted because it is from simple present to simple past. Then present continues. Past continuous, I am reading a good book. She said that she was reading a good book. Simple past changes to past perfect. I ate pasta for dinner last night. She said she had eaten pasta for dinner last night. So you see, <clears throat> there is a change in the simple past to past perfect. When it is simple present, it changes to simple past. But if it is simple past, it will change to past perfect. Then present perfect will change to past perfect. My mother has never been to Japan. She said that she said her mother had never been to Japan. So has changes to had. Can or can't will change to could or couldn't. I can meet with you next Monday. She said that she could meet with me next Monday. So how the uh, word, some specific words also change from direct to indirect when the speech is reported. Will will change to would and won't will change to wouldn't. So I will pick him at the airport. She said she would pick him at the airport. And the change in pronoun is mandatory. Then some important words that change. This will change to that. These will change to those. So see over here the statement. He says he wants to buy this book. He says that he wants to buy that book. He says he wants to buy these books. He says that he wants to buy those books. So singular to plural over here we see in the second one. Then here to there, she says everybody was here. She says that everybody was there. Now changes to then, we saw already. It's uh, They say it's 10 o'clock now. They say that it's 10 o'clock then. Today will change to that day, yesterday to the previous day, tomorrow to the following day and tonight to that night. So she said, I'm going to see him tonight. She said that she was going to see him tonight. So these are the important changes that we see when we change from direct to indirect. And especially there is a change in the pronoun. There is a change in the time if there is a mention of time. And the change in the tense if it is past tense. But present tense and future tense do not bring any change in tense in the indirect speech. And the use of word that is a must 
most of the times we use it only there are some exceptions when we do not use it uh, especially when we are using told instead of said then that may not be used but otherwise we need to use that and when the direct is in, converted to indirect speech all the colon comma inverted commas will be removed and it becomes a plain sentence so thank you so much